Hi, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Kelly. Today we're going to read a book about a very important person, Ada Lovelace. Okay, let's check this out. Ada Lovelace was born in England to a mother who loved math and a father who loved poetry. Ada's father left England when she was very little and never returned. Her mother was away a lot too. So young Ada spent a lot of time at her grandparents' house. A cat named Mrs. Puff kept her company. Left alone, Ada's imagination took flight. She started to dream of machines with wings that could move in any direction. When Ada's mother came to visit, she didn't like her imaginary inventions. She wanted her to concentrate on math and logic and nothing else. Luckily, Ada liked numbers and she was very good at solving mathematical problems. When she was 14, Ada became sick. She had to spend a lot of time resting in bed but she kept studying, inventing, and dreaming. After three long years, Ada got better. She went to London and was introduced to a famous mathematician named Charles Babbage. Mr. Babbage told Ada he was building a big machine that could add together sums. It was called a calculator. The calculator could do sums so quickly, it was like magic. Most people couldn't understand how it worked, but Ada was fascinated. Ada thought she could use math to make the calculator do more amazing things. She wrote a code made up of numbers that would tell the calculator what to do. Ada didn't know it, but she had just invented the language that computers use today. That's amazing. Little Ada, who loved both numbers and poetry, had become the world's first computer programmer. She showed that when you use science and imagination, your dreams can take flight. Here is Ada Lovelace as a baby, and that's her growing up. And she was born in 1815 and passed away in 1852. So she didn't live very long, but she accomplished a lot. And we're very grateful for her today. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next week.